Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you guys the books that I will be reading for the Owls Readathon. The Owls Readathon was created by another booktuber who is called Book Roast and she was basing this off of the owls that the I believe fifth years take in Hogwarts from the Harry Potter universe. And this is a exam that allows them to move on to their newts, which ultimately leads them into their careers. And Book Rose decided to kind of take this exam to career idea and put it in a readathon. So right now we're in the Owls, which lasts from April 1st to April 30th, and then I believe the newts are in August. And you can either do all of the prompts for the owls. So there's like 12, I think, maybe. I obviously am not going that route. And the other route is choosing a career and just reading those books based on those prompts for those specific careers. So that's the one that I'm doing. Uh, book Roast created a booklet of all the different careers and the prompts that you would have to choose in order to pick your books for the month. So I was thinking of either the herbologist or the magi zoologist, which that is a mouthful. Both of them sounded intriguing and sound like something I would actually do if I lived in that universe. Um, so I'm kind of torn between the two. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Magi Zoologist. And the great thing about the two is that a lot of the prompts overlap. So because I chose two different careers, I decided to write both information out in my bullet journal. And basically I listed each career each prompt um, and then what the prompts mean in terms of what book counts and then also to kind of the grades so if you didn't want to follow one of the careers how many books do you have to read in order to pass your owls that kind of thing and then I also put some books for extra effort, and then my book list that I will be tackling in April. So for the Herbologist, it has three prompts, Care of Magical Creatures, Herbology, and Potions. While the Magi Zoologist has Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, Herbology, and Potions. So Charms is an extra one with Magi Zoologist, but for the most part, they cross over pretty well. Now, what do these prompts mean? So the care of magical creatures means that the book that I choose has to have a land animal on the cover. Charms means that it has to be an adult work. It can't be a YA. Herbology means that there must be a plant on the cover. And potions means that I have to read a sequel. Now, if I wanted to be a little extra and try to go for reading six books, which would get me an E grade, I can do Divination, which means it's a book set in the future, uh, and Transfiguration, which means it has sprayed edges or it's red on the cover. And the reason I chose these two as my extra instead of the other prompts, because there are several others, is because I knew I had those books in my collection. So I just kind of wanted to add those in there. Now, onto the book list. For The Care of Magical Creatures, I have chosen Celtic Tales of Magic and Enchantment by Liam McEuston. And it has a little horse right here, so the land animal. This 
let's see. This is only uh, 189 pages, so pretty quick read. For charms, reading the adult work, I actually got something from the library, and it's called The Bookshop on the Corner, and it's by Jenny Colon. And it is 331 pages. Now for herbology, which means there has to be plants on the cover, I chose a town in cinnamon toast. So it looks like this, and it is by B.B. Haywood. And as you can see, there's a bunch of flowers here, grass and stuff in the background. So this counts as my herbology. And this has 279 pages. So then the last required is potions, and that means it has to be a sequel. And for that, I chose The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Now, I had to look this up because I wasn't sure if Da Vinci Code was the first book or if Angels and Demons was the first book. But when I looked it up, the reading order is Angels and Demons and then The Da Vinci Code, so sequel. And the number of pages in the Da Vinci Code is 489 pages. So this is a thickums. Now for the extra effort ones, the divination, which is set in the future, I have the book Red Moon by Kim Robinson. And this is... 446 pages. And then for Transfiguration, which is sprayed edges or red cover, I got Scythe from the library by Neil Schusmender. And this is 433 pages. Now, you may be wondering, why did I get some of these books from the library, especially for the extra effort ones? I actually went to the library a couple days before I even found out about this readathon, and I was going without really any purpose. I just wanted to see if any books would stand out to me, and I ended up coming out with these three books. And normally I wait until the weekend to read, and then I found out about this prompt, and I was like, oh, this is great. I can read these books, part of this prompt, but only, like, one really fit. So that's why I did the extra effort to kind of shoehorn in those other ones. Now, I will say, I've never done a readathon before, and I've never read this many books in a month before, so it will be interesting to see if I do complete all of these and if I'm able to get to the extra effort ones. Um, I'm really going to try for it. You know, fingers crossed. Wish me good luck. I am actually super excited. I think this is a really fun readathon, and if you want to know more information, I will be linking the announcement video from Book Roast so that you guys can check it out. And I think that's it. So if you guys stayed to the end, thank you so very much. Please let me know, are you guys participating in the Owl's Readathon? And what is your TBR looking like? And if you're doing the careers route, which ones did you choose? I want to know. So, Before you guys go, I want you to remember that you are your own brand of beautiful and never forget that. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.